Well, today is December 31st, the last day of 2022. Now, that means that tonight, at least tonight here on the east coast of the United States, at uh, 00 Zulu, which will be 7 p.m. Uh, local time, starts the annual Straight Key Night, a 24-hour amateur radio operating activity where you focus on operating Morse code with a straight key. And that got to be thinking is, what's your straight key sending style? There are a lot of ways to do this. Let's take a look at them and uh, let me know what you do. Now many beginning operators will start off by just using a single finger to tap out the code. But I think you'll find over time that it doesn't give you as much dexterity and consistency in the spacing of your sending. And other folks will actually do the same thing but with three fingers. And I think you run into the same problem with that. So most operators will migrate to a different style. Now one style I see is to actually rest your wrist on the table and just uh, kind of rotate your wrist or your fingers a little bit to form the letters. And again, some people do that by just pushing down on the key. Some will use multiple fingers. I find that uh, I've migrated a bit more to a grip, and I think that's what a lot of more experienced uh, CW operators do is actually will grip the key. Sometimes with you know maybe two fingers on either side, maybe one on top, or maybe another one underneath uh, the lip of it, just to kind of grip the key and operate it that way rather than simply pushing down on it. So I'm curious, what about you? When you are approaching the key, are you gripping it or are you just kind of tapping on top of it? What's your style? Uh, let me know. Now another piece of it is what do you do with the rest of your arm and your wrist and that type of a thing? Uh, are you uh, one that will put the wrist on the table and just kind of rotate a little bit down to make the, make the letters that way? I started off by doing that, but I've, I've since migrated a little bit from that as well. Now if you watch some of the old U.S. Navy training films for CW, they, their style they advocate is essentially gripping the key, but the wrist is off the table, but your elbow is on the table. And you're essentially kind of rotating you know, the, 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 your arm to kind of make those letters. Like that. And uh, that seems to work as long as you've got enough room on your desk to put your elbow in. Uh, so I'll do that sometimes, depending on whether I've got the key positioned here where I can put my wrist there. If I, if I have the key kind of over here at the edge of the table, I really can't do that. Now most of the time when I'm operating, I'm, I'm sitting in front of my desk here and there isn't a whole lot of room from where the radios are uh, down to the edge of the desk. And I'll usually have the key kind of more facing me, you know, this way. So I don't have a spot to rest my elbow. So I've kind of adopted a style that, uh, from my understanding, is actually more common in Europe. Uh, kind of called a European sending style, where you're still gripping the key but your entire arm is kind of elevated and you're just kind of using some motion in your arm to kind of form those key, uh, form those letters. And this is kind of the style that I've adopted. And to me, it, it works well. Um, I don't send really fast, you know, somewhere between 15 or 18 words a minute is where I'm kind of comfortable. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways to do this, depending on how you grip the key, whether you're resting your wrist, where your arm is laying, and how you're actually uh, making the motions. So I'm really curious to hear uh, your experience. What do, you, what do you use? What's your style? Uh, give me some comments below. And if you're really new to CW and you want to learn a little bit more, I'll also link down below another video that I did a few years ago on just the basics of Morse code in terms of the uh, character spacing for the dits and the dahs and between letters and words and the different t ways of sending from using a straight key to using a keyer with a set of paddles. So be sure to check that video with the link down below. Now the only other question for straight key night is what key do I use? I've got this Bonnell key from the 1920s which I used uh, most of the time. I've also got a nice uh, a Chrome Speedex like J38 type of a key. Or do I use one of the little portable keys that I have? I've got this, uh, this little Boudicig uh, key. It's uh, made of so kind of cast al aluminum. A pretty nice key with a magnetic return. I've also got this uh, little portable key that I made uh, or built a few years ago uh, from a kit that actually works really well. Or one of my favorite little portable keys is this uh, tiny little uh, Camelback key from Vibraplex. So which one should I use? Well, maybe I'll spend some time with each of them. Anyway, I hope uh, to hear you on the air on Straight Key Night tonight. And uh, good luck with your Morse code journey. 7-3 and Happy New Year.